Albo has done it. He's going to get the Australian Labor Party over the line in the federal election. And that's reasonable news. Morrison and co are out. I'm not going to say too much about them because it could be court cases. We might get our federal ICAC if we're lucky. But I saw the Antifa guys are very happy about this and doesn't look like Clive Palmer has made... Uh, they're not going to get a, a, any seats, I don't think. Um, the Senate situation is all it's up in the air. It's going to be very difficult if you know... That, you're familiar with the situation there. But I don't think this is really, a really something to celebrate. I don't think they should be too happy yet. Combined totals for One Nation and UAP are well over a million. And they could get close to one and a half million at the end of counting. And that's not something you can just dismiss. You can't dismiss this and, and sort of cheer on you know, the, the lack of seats, there's a very a hefty underswell of um, resentment. And these are pretty extreme parties. I don't think there's anything to see. If they get close to 1.5 million or, or more lower house votes for extreme parties, you saw that guy going off, McMurtry, I think it was, going off at the UAP rally at Canberra. Uh, Tom Tanuki did a video about that and brought that to everyone's attention. Um, and we know that the One Nation is completely off the rails. We know what they're like. So there's two parties combined. They're going to get a, a hefty amount of votes. The Greens did very well, particularly in, in Queensland. Various places didn't get a lower house seat. The Greens, though, this time, I don't think. Um, we don't know, it's, so it's a bit of a mess still. Where it's only the polls only finished, stopped 24 hours ago, started counting 24 hours ago, and there's a lot of pre poll and postal votes to come. But Albo's got the Liberals out, that's a very good thing. Don't mind Albo, he's done it the hard way, but <clears throat> he might be all right for a Labour. Um, I don't like the Labor supporters now because they're pro-vaccine mandate and lockdown fanatics. A lot of them now, uh, the social fascists um, is really coming out of them. And But I don't think there's anything really to be happy about. Well over a million votes for these very extreme parties in an era of going to go back 30, 40 years ago, maybe the Democrats, Don Chip era, get 600,000 votes, I think, in 1990. You can look up those results on Wikipedia, but these parties, very extreme parties, are radical um, and very aggressive and angry. Some of them have a right to be, but they've, you've sort of kicked the hornet's nest with these lockdowns and vac vaccine mandates. The sort of the progressive left, the Antifa guys, the social democrats, the middle class progressives, the uh, urban types, uh, they've sort of kicked the hornet's nest a bit. And I'm not sure whether it's a really good long term thing to have a party like that grab, you know, there's about 17, 16, 17 million votes, I think, this time uh, on the electoral roll. I'm not convinced that, you know, having one and a half million perhaps people supporting this extremism is a, a really good thing if it continues to grow, if we have another lockdown in winter, they could get, uh, you know, maybe 10% of the population and that's enough to cause a little bit of drama. So I think it's good that Albo's in and Labor is not too bad. Keneally lost. They tried to parachute her in. She's, you know, gone. The, you know, just, she's, I don't want to talk about her, but I don't want to talk about, you know, Dutton or anyone because I don't want to be arrested. I don't want to put any possible legal proceedings in jeopardy by sort of 
saying anything. You can't say anything on the internet about anyone anymore. Dutton, Potato Man, Mr. Potato Head, he's very hypersensitive about anyone. He's a real cop. But I think these Andal guys, Tanuki and Cam Wilson, and yeah, a, bit, a bit jolly about maybe Hanson losing her Senate seat, but I'm looking at the deep, longer term picture and the deeper picture and I'm not as positive. I don't think there's um, anything to celebrate. Perhaps one and a half million votes. That's a little bit disturbing and it could be a problem in the future.